These are my five go-to places for finding story ideas when you're feeling emotionally and creatively drained. Hello, hello. We're gonna do another writing related video today, despite that I still have not written. I know you want to be kept up to date on how much I am slacking, because I'm guessing that it probably makes some of you feel better, right? I'm this person who like sometimes makes videos about writing and hasn't done it in months and months and months. No, that's a lie. I did NaNoWriMo, so that's something. Just months and months, I guess. Let's talk about some places where you can find story ideas. Here are five places to find an idea. I feel like I can't be the only person who's thought of this, but Post Secret. If you don't know, Post Secret is a blog run by someone who uh, started getting strangers postcards where they would reveal their deepest darkest secrets and it's all anonymous and like cathartic and things like that. Some of them don't tell much of a story but a lot of times they do and because the postcard is so small and the person usually only has space to write one or two sentences, usually reading these postcards raises a lot more questions and where there are questions about what happened there is a story. You can find a link to the Post Secret blog below, but you can also follow them on social media and they will sometimes share different postcards that they get. I highly recommend checking this out. I myself have gotten lots of inspiration, maybe not for an entire story, but definitely for a scene that can then turn into something else. While we're on the blog category, Humans of New York is another really well-known website slash blog slash social media thing. Basically this person goes around New York photographing different people and hearing a little bit about their stories. This is really cool because a lot of New Yorkers don't get to meet each other so one thing this project does is humanize the other people in this massive city. You can sift through these stories, find something that's intriguing to you, and then use it as a springboard to start inventing stuff around. Another really obvious place to find story ideas that you probably thought of back in November but haven't remembered since then is the NaNoWriMo forums. Even though the forums are primarily active during October and November when people are planning their novels for National Novel Writing Month, those forums are always there. And I believe the archives for past years are also available. So you can go into like the character development or the plot doctoring boards and actually see other people's ideas for what they were writing their novels about for different dares that you can incorporate into your own story. And sometimes just hearing all of these different ideas, you can find one that resonates with you. And honestly, there's no shame in stealing them. That's why people shared them on the forums. And as soon as you take something and you start writing about it, you're honestly going to make your own anyway. For the last two, let's go a little more old school. Perhaps another obvious place to find story ideas is in a newspaper. Now this does not have to be a print newspaper. I myself have not read a print paper in quite a while, but newspapers and magazines have an obligation to tell news stories every day or every week depending on the paper. National or international news sources generally have more high-level stuff that wouldn't lend itself well to a story, but the more local you go, so like even if you look at your hometown or like your region and read that paper, a lot of times they will report on some stuff that's like kind of funny, local crimes or other quirky stories that are unique enough to be printed. All of these can be good fodder for your own story. And then the fifth place I would recommend is fifth just because this does take a little bit more work and a little bit more imagination. You can use other stories and poems that are already published to get ideas for your story. So if you're looking at other short stories, you might look through a short story anthology. Pick a story that really resonates with you and figure out, okay, well, what about this is interesting. Maybe it's a certain relationship between two characters or a certain setting, and then you can kind of borrow that and use that for yourself. Poems, especially narrative poems, can also be good because it feels a little bit less like you're stealing. Poems are usually a lot more about feelings and atmosphere, and you can pull sort of that feeling and create a story of your own. Sometimes borrowing from a poem is even just taking an actual line from the poem and letting that inspire your story. So yeah, look through all of these different sources. I guarantee that you're gonna find something that speaks to you. Definitely not going to be like ready me and you're still gonna have to do some mind work to figure out how you can turn it into your own and where you wanna go from there. But it's a lot better than sitting there staring at a blank page and like waiting for a story idea to come to you organically. So what about you guys? Where do you go for story ideas when you're stumped? Also let me know in the comments if any of these help you because that would be great. Thank you guys for watching. Links to these different resources are down below in the doobly-doo. I make new videos every Tuesday and Saturday, so I'll see you very soon. Bye.